We are here in Trafalgar Square, 100 years after the British first deployed their solution to trench warfare, codenamed the tank. To mark the occasion, crew from Wargaming and the Tank Museum were at Trafalgar Square in the early hours of the morning. Their mission? To carefully deploy a Mark IV tank into the centre of London to draw the attention of the general public to this prestigious day. Today, the 100th anniversary of the first tank attack, and to commemorate that, we've brought a replica First World War tank back to the square. And the thing is that the tank was here in World War I in Trafalgar Square. The idea that uh, the government realized the tank was such a good propaganda weapon, it was so good for public morale, they took a tank in the Lord Mayor's Parade, they drove it around London, it had such an impact in the public. They then started to think, hang on, we can do more with this. They took a tank to Trafalgar Square, parked it up, and they used it to help raise money for the war effort. So in a way, we're recreating something that's already happened. What brings you here to Trafalgar Square this morning? Um, I see on Twitter this morning, um, one of the PR guys, or uh, photographers for the British Army, put something about some tanks being down in Trafalgar Square and something to do with a 100-year battle. I thought, come down and have a look. Yes, it's the 100th anniversary of the Battle of Fleurs. Um, which is the first tank action. I guess it's a tank. It's a tank, yeah. Do you know why it's here, though? No. You have no idea? No. You, what if I said it's exactly a hundred years ago today that the first tank deployed into combat? I'm speechless. Uh, I've looked into it. I've, I know a little bit about the history of tanks. Yeah, the Battle of the Somme was exactly a hundred years ago today, and that's why we have a tank here. What do you think of the tank, the Mark IV? <laughs> Brilliant, it's absolutely beautiful. I wish I can get inside it. I wanted to ask this morning, but you were all setting up and it was, you know, this just a, a tad busy. Take, is it? it is a replica, is yes. I, is it, I don't think it's full scale, is it? It is full scale. It is full it scale. Is full scale. Uh, it's a lot bigger, you think, you would imagine it's a lot bigger. It'll take 100 years. Not a clue. I live like five minutes away. I saw a news report this morning. I normally catch my bus directly over there. So I said, on the way to work, I will definitely have a stop and at least take like 10 minutes, you know, just coming and seeing it. Because this is like, for me, from a nostalgia purpose, this is, this is something I used to have replicas of this as a child. I used to play with, with this. So to come and see a life-size version of it, the real version of it, I couldn't miss the opportunity. So that's why I'm here. I'm guessing at 11 o'clock you're going to be at work because it's going to be driving down the street. I phoned in, you know, I said I'm going to be late today. I, I had to come and see it. So we're delighted to see you here today to join us in commemorating that. And also Many people spoke about what the tank meant to them. Uh, but as the midday uh, sun was shining, it was Winston tonight. Churchill's grandson, Sir Nicholas Soames, who stole the show. On the 23rd of September 1914, Winston Churchill wrote a detailed memorandum from the Admiralty about the urgent need to develop a mechanical device to influence and move trench warfare on. By the end of that month, Churchill, having enlisted the help of the Duke of Westminster, who was an officer in the armoured car division of the Royal Naval Air Service and other officers, started to drive forward this plan with great vigour. Ladies and gentlemen, 100 years on, we should honour the memory of those who developed these extraordinary weapons and the immense sacrifice in two world wars by those who fought in tanks and changed the face of battle forever. Guys. Today, you guys have seen a tank in Trafalgar Square. It's a very special moment for me, a special moment for all of us. Trafalgar Square, for those of you who don't know, is the heart of our national life. It's where we come together to party. It's where we come together to protest. It's where we come together to mourn and celebrate and commemorate. And today we're commemorating one of the most important British innovations in our history. 
the birth of the tank, its arrival on the battlefield in 1916. Uh, they go on, of course, to dominate warfare in the 20th century. I've read a lot of letters that have been written by the German soldiers. They found these tanks terrifying. They'd never seen anything like it. These lumbering beasts coming towards them, inexorable, charging across the battlefield. Uh, so, so for both sides, the tank lo loomed very large. In World of Tanks, we're celebrating uh, this uh, great date, so 100 years anniversary of the first tank battle in all the platforms. Uh, on World of Tanks uh, PC, just today, uh, the special event started called Convoy. Uh, on consoles, we also uh, have started today a special event uh, called Trench Warfare, where players will drive actual Mark 1s. Uh, there will be as well a special map uh, created uh, specifically for uh, commemorating one of the big battles of the First World War. In uh, World of Tanks Blitz, uh, they uh, will start the event at 19th uh, of September, quite soon. Uh, and. Uh, players will have to drive Mark I tanks fighting against each other and we really want uh, to attract them to participate in the celebration of this event. In three, About two, one, let's go. Fuck beers, get it. Where, 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 where? Do you actually know what you're doing? Yes. Penetration, my favorite word. <laughs> I may actually be dying, I'm afraid I'm dead. What have you thought about the day-to-day, -day, especially the Mark IV driving down on London, central London? Um, it's ridiculous. I'm not sure if um, uh, in any conflict tanks were ever in London. I'm pretty sure they weren't. I'd need to double check that, but I'm pretty sure they weren't. So to actually see tanks, and particularly of that age in London, is, is, is really quite marvellous. And then... Um, at the same time, coincidentally, in Horse Guards Parade, yeah, there was a Challenger 2 tank which was there for a recruitment drive. And so then we thought on our feet and had the Mark 1 tank replica delivered to Horse Guards Parade, and then you literally had the Mark 1 tank next to the Challenger 2. Like a hundred years of tanks, yeah, the A to Z of British tanks were right there. And so that was the point that I whipped a tear from my eye. It was amazing. A hundred years ago, the tank started with a machine not so dissimilar to the one behind me, the Mark IV. But over the hundred years, it had to evolve into a completely different beast. And who better to explain the changes than none other than Richard Cutland, otherwise known as the Challenger. Hi Luke, I mean, where do you even start to go to do the comparisons to that? There is no comparison. And of course, what we have to appreciate is that the Mark IV, you know, one of the first ever vehicles was there and its intention of it on the battlefield was to cross obstacles. That is what it was all about. The great comparison now, of course, just behind us, we've got the latest British main battle tank, the Challenger II, the last tank I ever served on. The differences between it are absolutely vast. I mean, we're talking about digitization, firepower, protection, mobility. Um, from a crew perspective, I mean, I have to appreciate that what it must have been like to serve inside the Mark IV must have been horrific. And today is a very poignant day for me. Of course, we're not only paying tribute to a hundred years of some amazing advances in, in technology, but also we're paying tribute to the men that served on these particular vehicles. And, and really, just to finish off the day as well, I want to pay my very personal respects to the guys who are still serving today on the Challenger 2 and throughout the world, of course.